Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. God bless you guys. I, I so, kind of neglected that I had a, a dentist appointment this morning, so we're live here in the parking lot of our, our dentist office. And uh, we just want to say, wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking, and move in your purpose. I want to encourage somebody today that is that didn't forgot to encourage yourself this morning. I want to encourage somebody today that that forgot that God has already sacrificed for you. I, I want to encourage somebody this morning that said, you know what? Why am I doing this? What am I here for? What am I doing? And I want to say to you this morning, you're here because God has chosen you. You have you have taken on the responsibility to know, remember on Friday, that God works in me to will and to do his good pleasure. How many of us are still sitting in a in a in a dormant situation waiting on Jesus to show up and do something miraculous in our lives? How many how many are, of us are just still sitting around hoping and wishing and 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 and, and, and guessing that things are going to get better? How many of us are still in a situation that we've been we've been prayed for over and we've been spoke to over and and we've even confessed it in our in our mouth. And, and but we're still in that situation. How many can attest this morning? Truthfully, don't don't comment. Don't put your business all out there in the street. But how many out there today would really say? I'm not where I should be. How many out there today will raise your hand and say, I can do better? How many out there today will say, you know what? I must change the way I think, and I have to change the way I think right now. That should have been all of us. <laughs> that should have been each and every one of us on this broadcast because we never, none of us have made it. Each, each and every one of us on this broadcast, live, later on, listening to the, uh, the, the, uh, the replay, we should all say, I, I'm I'm in a do I'm in a do better place right now, but how many is still sitting in a terrible situation because you haven't made a decision to get out? Everybody keeps stepping over you. Why are you out there? Somebody got there first. Well, why are you out? Oh no, I'm waiting on Jesus to show up. Oh, how many how many of us are right at the peak of of going to another level? How many? How many? At that peak to go to another level, but we're we are we are sitting dormant because we're waiting on something. Well, I'm here to say today that it's time to stop waiting. It's time to recognize that the most important thing that could ever happen in your life was the, the experience of knowing Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You can do it right now. We're, we're going to leave this broadcast this week because this is the do better week. We're going to push you. We're going to uh, encourage you. We're going to strengthen you to do better now. <laughs> Come on, put it out there for me, Minister Terry. Hashtag, I will do better now and talk to yourself. Say today is the day that I'm going to do better. Today is the day that I'm going to stop making excuses. Today is the day that I am going to see the God work in me that I know is working in somebody else. Who's going to say today is my day for redemption? Today is my day for salvation. Today is my day for restoration. I am ready to be restored today because I know I can do it because of Jesus. You better leave. You better leave the, the old behind today. You better put all the new into place to say, I am truly going to do better now. No, not next week. Uh, no, 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 not next year. No, no, not, no, not tomorrow. I am going to do better now. Come on, somebody. I'm going to do better now. Turn your Bible with me. We're going to talk about a couple of uh, uh, illustrations because as I was sharing with you guys uh, last week about not giving up, you have to know you've been called. You cannot wait around anymore. Uh, you, 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 cannot, you cannot sit around dormant anymore hoping and wishing it, 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 with expectations that aren't achievable. Yes, yes, we all think we're going to be millionaires. We all, oh yeah, one day I'm going to be a billionaire. One day I'm going to do this. One day I'm going to do that. One, no, no, no. What can I do right now? What will be, will be. 
And what God has, watch, watch this, what God has purposed for your life, you have to, you have to grab hold to this. What God has purposed for your life is, is here for you right now. In your I will do better now mode. Not tomorrow. Forget tomorrow. Please forget yesterday. <laughs> yesterday is done. Today is the day, the sufficient time. He says, seek ye first, Matthew 6, 30. Well, read the whole chapter. But he says prolifically, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. He wasn't talking about tomorrow. He, and he definitely wasn't talking about yesterday. He's talking about right now. Everything, all things will be added unto me right now. When I do better now. Yes, 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 yes. When I stop washing my neck. Oh no, when I stop cleaning up and when I stop uh, uh, doing something that I know that I should continue at, I'm stopping because I'm discouraged. I'm stopping because nobody's supporting me. I'm stopping because sales aren't coming through. I'm stopping. No, uh, 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 no, today is when I will do better. Oh, we got, we got to listen. Listen, if you have the right opportunity tomorrow or whenever, that's what you have to deal with tomorrow. Matthew 6. Come on. I, I have to read it. We all know it. You all know it. You all know it. But we have to read it again. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Watch this. It says, but you have to know God knows what you need. Go back up a little bit. Uh, uh, back to 25. It says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat or what you will drink, nor your body, what will you put on? Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than them? Uh, look, 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 they're chirping and making some noise, but they can't tell nobody about the goodness of Jesus. Aren't you more important than them? Watch this, watch this. Which of you, uh, which of you by worrying can add one cubic to his statue? So why do, do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spoil. You're more valuable than them. They wither away. My God, you're increasing your faith. You're increasing your belief. You are greater than them. Watch this. Watch this. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the fields, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you of little faith. Don't you remember the story about faith? Faith through all the generations. People accomplish by faith what God has seen them to do without the promise. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Isaac. Esau, Jacob, Moses, jo uh, uh, Joseph, his brother, everybody through faith accomplished what God told them to do when? Right then. They weren't worried about uh, tomorrow or yesterday. They, by faith, accomplished what God told them to do right then. No, stop worrying to see. There you go. Every time you get grass on right now, something comes in your mind talking about tomorrow. Watch this. Therefore, do not worry, saying, shall we eat or shall we, what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. See, see, and, 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 and watch this. We disrespect God so much, so many times by acting like he's stupid. I know I ain't no, no preacher ever talk like that with you, but let me tell you something. We disrespect God every day because we dishonor him because we think he doesn't know all things. We dishonor him thinking that he didn't make all things. We dishonor him by thinking that all things were created through and by him. Jesus. See how many times we get so far ahead that we dishonor God? Don't you know that God has your best interest at hand? God does not plan for you to be dis uh, attacked. God does not plan for you to get beat up. God does not plan for you to get abused. God does not plan for you to go through those obstacles. We ourselves put ourselves in situations 
that follows the results of this world. God had nothing to do with that. But don't you know God loves you? Don't you know that God cares for you? Don't you know that God wants the best for you? If you don't know that today, you better start knowing it now. Watch this. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Watch this. You got to know he's trying to add to you right now. Uh, no, no. Stop thinking about then. Uh, -uh. no, no, no. He's trying to bless you now. Watch. He says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is his own trouble. You got to know how deep that scripture is about you got to deal with right now with what's going on right now. And that's how can you be closer to God right now? How can you tell somebody about God right now? How can you lift up somebody else better than yourself? How can you? Well, I'm trying to do it right now. God loves you better than he does me. God has a better plan for you than he does me. God wants to bless you better than he does me. But guess what? You better be in the right mindset to receive the blessings because all it is is for you to bless somebody else. It's, it's imperative, family. It is imperative that we do the will of God right now. Uh-uh, stop washing your nets. Uh-uh, no, 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 it ain't over. Stop, no, stop giving up. It's not over. Stop telling yourself that you gotta quit. No, stop telling yourself that you can't make it. No, stop telling yourself that it's over. No, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, one of my favorite scriptures, and which are many, Ephesians 6 and 10 says, Finally, my brethren, Talking to you too, my sister. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Finally, the light has to come on. I, I love Minister Charlene. The light has to come on. Finally, I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. When? Now. Yes, yes, yes. You can do it now. Stop. No, no, no. Tomorrow will worry about his own trouble. Sufficient for itself is right now. You better get some now in you that you can do some now things. My God, you can reach the unimaginable when you do it through God. You can do the things that nobody ever, 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 ever has experienced. Because finally, now I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And I know I can do it family and you have to know you can do it too you have to really 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 work on you this week this is your daily bread <laughs> give us daily bread don't worry about tomorrow bread yesterday bread is already done don't you remember that he fed he fed them daily in the wilderness even though they were disobedient then they still tried to store it up and what did it do it wasted you're wasting some things because you're storing them up instead of giving them away. Oh, that's going to catch up to somebody in five, four, three, two, one. See, 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 you've been holding on to something so long. That's why you can't get the new stuff because you've been holding on too long. It's time to give it away. It's time to get out of your situation. It's time to recognize the Jesus that's in your life now. He's right there. 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 Yes, he's preaching to you right now. He's speaking life to you right now. He's telling you you can do it right now. Don't give up on God. He will not. He has not. He never will give up on you. But stop disrespecting God, acting like he like he don't know what's going on. <laughs> stop disrespecting God, acting like he's 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 not the almighty. Stop disrespecting God, treating him. Don't, no, 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 no. That is probably your problem. I, I'm not throwing rocks because at one time this was me. No, I'm not tossing rocks. No, I'm not. I'm not going to stone you. I, if I stepped on your toe, I'm, I apologize. That wasn't me. That was the Holy Spirit. But you need to get your foot out the way. See, see, you can never be damaged if you're not wrong in the first place. If something that I say is prophetically spoken through me, you have to take that personal now and say, I'm going to do better now. 
I will do better now. The t-shirts are coming out this week. That's all it's going to say across the chest. I will, hashtag, I will do better now. And yes, those things that you hold, let them go, let them go. That, bless somebody. Bless somebody so the new harvest can come in. You sitting there waiting, waiting, up, holding stuff from yesterday. You got stuff in storage from yesterday. You got stuff in your closets from yesterday. You got stuff in your garage from yesterday. Let the yesterday go so you can get the new stuff right now. God wants to bless you. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Not tomorrow, right now. Why would he then go to say, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow? For tomorrow will worry about his own things. Sufficient for the day is his own trouble. My God. I'm preaching to somebody this morning, somebody doing some spins up in your chair. You got your headphones on. They don't know what's going on with you at work. But when you come out of this thing, when you let go of all that stuff and you come out of this thing new, shiny and brand new, it's going to be something that's never, ever been done before. Nobody can duplicate it. Nobody can copyright it. Nobody can steal it. Nobody can dot com it. It's going to be you that knew you because you know that that new you has to be now. Now, just a little illustration for those that are maybe a little bit, a little bit questioning when the now is. Take it now. Zero to five seconds. I say now, you say, I say when, you say now. When, 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 when. See, you have to be now every second of every day. You cannot let dormancy lay in your life anymore. You got to get your mind so sharp, so focused on the word of God that nothing can separate you from the love of God. And that's how you wake up in your mind, John 15. That's how you get up in your thinking, Philippians 2. That's how you move in your purpose, Matthew 27, 28, oh, excuse me. That now you can move in your purpose now. And you can do the will of God when? Now. And you don't have to question it anymore because you are a now Christian serving a now God. And you're doing things that are cha making changes now. I couldn't have preached this one better if, if I would have wrote it on a piece of paper. I couldn't have preached this one better if I'd have had it on a trans, transcri uh, transcript somewhere. But by letting the, the letting God use me through his word, I can speak life into somebody today that's going to be different than they've ever been. And I think it's just one. If it's just, I hope it's a million. But if it's just one <laughs> that leaves you different, I know I've done the job that God has called me to do. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. You can do it, family. This is your day to make the B biggest decision ever in your life to be a now Christian. Yes, to be a now Christian. Yes. No, no, no. Not a tomorrow Christian. Not a yesterday Christian. To be a now Christian. Be. I challenge somebody right now to become new, a new child of God every second of every day. I'm new, I'm new, I'm new, I'm new. Anything dead, you got to go. Anything dead, you got to leave. Anything dead, I don't want to hear it. Anything from yesterday, I don't want to talk about it. We're going to get in the new and we're going to do a new thing because it's, it's called Jesus. It's called living the life. Yes, the life of Jesus here on earth. Woo, my God, as it's already been done in heaven. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you today. We thank you for your word going forward. We thank you for the change that is in us. And Lord, we thank you for the new direction that we are about to launch. That is now. And Lord, we thank you that you have, that you're moving now. And we're right, we're linked in with you right now, moving now. We're, we're linked in with you right now, moving in the now. We're right now linked with you in the now. Then Lord, you be magnified, lifted up and glorified. Lord, we thank you today. That not by power and not by might, but by your spirit, you have, you have created in us a clean heart and renewed a right spirit in us right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you in Jesus' name. And we open up the portion room right now. Family, so, you know, the portion room is a place that we designated to sow into God that he can heal somebody right now. You don't know. No, don't put their name on it. Uh-uh. No, 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 no cash app. No, no, uh, no PayPal link. You can bless us if you want to. That our ministry, uh, uh, receives, uh, 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 seeds and offerings all the time and it's good ground. And I, but I guarantee you, you'll get good harvest in the now, but stop waiting for it tomorrow or yesterday. Get it now. 
but as you sow into the portion room, sow it freely, love, sow uh, peace, love, joy, happiness, anything, all just sow it into the portion room today that God can bless somebody. No, you don't need to be blessed. Bless somebody else. No, you doing it. You can make it another day as you are right now. Give, give in to somebody else right now. Oh, yeah. And go ahead and start pulling in a million minds. 10 million minds. I'm working. Oh, ooh, it gets heavier. Every, oh, that load, that load. Pull them in, pull them in, pull them in. Pull them in, pull them in, not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of God. Pull them in, in your region, in your district, in your neighborhood. Pull them in on that corner you drive by every day and see them people out there about to lose their mind. Pull them in. Don't curse them. Don't talk about them. Pull them in. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Family, we love you. We we we, we, we appreciate you and we thank God for you today that, that we are on this thing together and we can do it. I, I'm going I got your back. You got my yeah, you got my back. See, if I have your back, you have my back. Then we ain't got to worry about watching. If you got my side and I got your side, we ain't got to worry about looking. If you got my front and I got your front, we ain't got to worry about stumbling. We know we are on the path because our, watch this, the path has been directed and purposed by God. Now, that's it in Jesus' name. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. We'll, we, uh, uh, we will be back Wednesday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Central, and 12 noon on the East Coast for wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking, and move in your purpose. We got a dentist appointment. That's why we a little bit. A little bit antsy, uh, but uh, we want to be about our father's business and try to get this. I will yeah, try to get that little tooth over there. Some help. Amen. And in Jesus name. God bless you guys. Uh, we'll talk to you Wednesday.